Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today, thanks to my buddy Charlie, um, we're gonna be taking a look at the new Jasmine Collector doll that just released last week. I had wanted to get her, but I was like, nope, I can't. Uh, with our claim and everything that we've got going on with that, I just, I needed to be smart with my money and said as much as I would love to get this doll, I need to pass on her. Uh, you know, if she's still available after the first of the year, maybe, but at that point, I'm sure she wouldn't have been, but you know, life goes on. And when he found out, he took it upon himself to get one for me. <laughs> so thank you, Charlie. I'm still blown away. She is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And I cannot wait to go over with her, go over her with you guys. So stay tuned as we look at the box. We're going to look at the doll and we're going to get her out. I cannot wait to take this one out of the box. I hope you guys enjoy her. Okay, so quick rant and then we'll move on to the review. Shop Disney, please, please, please stop with these boxes. We've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, when we pay the money that we pay for these dolls, we do that because we want to be able to see them and these stupid back flap things, they've got to go. It was bad enough when we're paying $129.99 for a doll. Now that we're paying $150 for a doll and we can't see it at all and there's no way to display them with the flaps open, it is beyond irritating, which is probably why these dolls are still sitting available on Shop Disney right now. Jasmine is an extremely popular princess. And there's no reason why this doll should not have sold out, but I can guarantee you it's because of this box. Please go back to these type of boxes. We, even if they're the, you know, where they're flipped around and the box is angled, like the live action boxes, that's fine. Get rid of these. Anyways, rant over. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the box itself. So we do, of course, have the peacock feather design. We're very used to that now with Jasmine. We've got this six plus. These boxes are so dang heavy. Jasmine collector doll, one of 5,600. Um, they're just awkward. I can't stand these boxes. They're so dumb. Uh, the barcode there, if you'd like to pause and read a little bit about the doll, you certainly can. There you go. And then um, on the top here, it does say Jasmine. So the other issue I have with these is since I can't look at my doll that I just paid 100 and well, after taxes, like 180 bucks, 170 bucks, something like that it pretty much forces you to debox. And that's kind of frustrating for some collectors because they don't debox and they want to be able to see what they are, are buying. So uh, anyhow, when you open it up, of course we do have Jasmine there. Uh, we've got the Lotus Flowers. Mine is number 1309 of 5600. And again, like with these ridiculous, like why? Why do we have just a single little one inch flap on this side? I just, I can't. So that being said, let's nix this box, get it out of the way, and let's take a good look at Jasmine. Okay, so we do have Jasmine out now, and let me tell you, she is stunning out of the box, she's stunning in the box, she's stunning regardless. So without further ado, we're just gonna dive right in. I cannot get over how gorgeous this doll is. So she does have a little bit different of a stand. Uh, this one has a really, really wide waist clip. I have no idea why, not a fan. Um, not a fan at all. You almost have to strap her to it in order for it to really, really work well for her. Just an FYI. But good gravy, good gravy. That new face mold makes up for it. Look how stunningly gorgeous that face mold is. So Jen at Nonstop Spiders, thank you so much for this. She's so beautiful. We do have a uh, rooted, long rooted, dark brown, black hair. I love her hair and how long it is. We do have her signature uh, sectioned off ponytail here. I do wish that there was like little beads or something like that in there. I may actually add something on my own, uh, but you can see here, there is like a waxy material in the hair to keep it together. I may. Not sure. I may wash it. I haven't decided. I know that with this type of hair, when you wash it, it just goes straight. So I would have to probably boil wash just to keep the curl in because I do like the waviness, but we'll see. I may just end up leaving it alone too. I'm not really sure. But nonetheless, lots and lots of beautiful, beautiful hair there. It's so soft too. Her hair is super, super soft. So love it, love it, love it. Now she does have just large, beautiful brown eyes, pink and gold eyeshadow there, thick brown eyebrows kind of like a dark muted red lipstick. I love her earrings. You can see there, they are metallic. They are metal with a blue gemstone there. Same with her necklace there. I do believe it's the same as the D23 necklace. So I do like that. Same with the earrings. I do like that they did at least keep those. Um, coming down her halter top here, or her crop top, whatever you want to call it, has a sweetheart neckline. There are cap sleeves with a pooped portion on the sleeve here with a kind of a see-through organza type of a material. We do have some embroidery there. Absolutely love that aspect embroidery is life when it comes to these dolls uh she then of course has a little shawl that i did leave tacked 
You can see there's little tie tacks there just to keep it in place. I love the shawl. The D23 one does not have a shawl. So I love that they gave us a shawl on this one. I just realized I left the tie tack in. That's okay. Uh, coming down to her pants, she does have on uh, her kind of signature pants here. But of course, they did give us an overskirt, which is, you know, I love that. <laughs> um, I think that's just kind of staple with Jasmine now. Now, we do have a lot of embroidery but uh it's not as much as the d23 i'll move her hair out of the way here except for the very back panel and the very back panel is the exact same embroidery and gem work as the d23 so if you spread it out you can see it's like a peacock tail and i love it a little bit more simpler on the other panels but that back panel is life so i do love all of this and it's just an intricate and beautiful embroidery i love the multicolor aurora borealis type gems that they used stunningly beautiful job absolutely absolutely love it um, they really did go all out, I think, for her. Uh, I mean, more so on the D23, of course, but quite a bit so on the Shop Disney release one as well. I love this metallic belt. So pretty. Nice touch. Um, and then, of course, we have some fun purple pumps or purple heels, whatever you want to call them, with a little bit of gold uh, detail work there on the medallions. She also has on two bangle cuffs on uh, her left arm here. So you can kind of see there, they are metal as well. And then she has four on her right arm, one of them being like a little diamond bracelet, which I absolutely love that too. So I'm personally, I'm happy. Like this, yes, it's not the D23. And I know a lot of people were very upset with what they considered a lack of detail for a general release doll. Um, I'm trying to get her sorted here. Um, however, I believe that, you know, D23 being an exclusive and special event uh, for people who, you know, paid the money to get the tickets and go, then what they had to do to get, you know, all these dolls and wait in line for hours on end. Okay, you know what? They deserve a uh, a little more superior of a doll. Uh, and granted, though, those dolls were even more than, than this doll. They were 179, whereas these ones are 149. So, you know, I mean, it's, it's a little bit of give and take, I think, sometimes. And I think sometimes some people kind of tend to forget that. Um, not everyone can make it to D23. I understand that. And I know a lot of people are like, well, you know, that's not fair. We deserve this, that, and the other thing. Well, guys, they could have not given us a Jasmine at all. I guess that's how I look at it. And this Jasmine is a very good substitute to the D23. Yes, her details are not as great as the D23 one. But my God, look at Jasmine as a character. She's not a flamboyant, flashy character. This is probably more to her style than the D23 one is anyhow. So <laughs> gorgeous. Jen, phenomenal job. You did a fantastic job designing her, sculpting her, the fabric choices, everything. She is beautiful. So guys, she is still available on Shop Disney, and I'm sure that's because of those awful boxes. Make sure you grab this one if you don't have a Jasmine in your collection. Even if you do have a Jasmine in your collection, grab her. You will not be disappointed. If you don't like the box, take her out. <laughs> I mean, is she worth the $149.99? <sighs> No, I think she's worth the 119 the 129 that we used to pay, but I can guarantee the price increase is just due to the inflation costs that we're seeing on everything. It costs Disney more to make these. It is what it is. I am happy that they're lowering the addition runs again. I prefer less than 10,000. So these 10,000 runs, I hope, are a thing of the past. Um, so I love that she's only 5,600. Uh, so I do like that quite a bit. But definitely, guys, don't sleep on her. She is worth it. She's gorgeous. You will not be disappointed. Alrighty, guys, I was going to do it for my review of Jasmine. I hope you enjoyed. She is absolutely stunning. I cannot get over her. I am so happy to have her in my collection. Charlie, once again, thank you so, so much. I am still just in awe, and your your kindness is is just amazing. So thank you so much for her. I She's gorgeous. She's absolutely gorgeous. Alrighty, guys, well, if you have any comments or questions about her or any other item, leave those in the comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Make sure you hit that hit the uh, notification bells with the uh, subscription button. That way you know when my videos do come out. I try to post as often as I can. It used to be every day, then it kind of got to three times a week, and now it's just whenever I have something to show. Um, but definitely, you know, join the ride. It's a lot of fun. Alrighty, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you're having an extra magical day, and we will see you real soon.